Good morning. We've had a problem every morning. She comes out on her own now. Before it's even time to wake up. You want to hug mommy? Hand. Oh, hand. Okay. Let's go get dressed. Okay. And so That's I wake up. Hand. She's roaming around. That's my dress. It is your dress. Open your door. Let's go get dressed for school. So I'm like, Mama, you got to stay in your room. It's cute if I'm awake or Daddy's awake, but when we're not, I worry she's going to get into something. <sighs> hey, and I feel like I encourage this, so I can't say anything, huh? Do you sleep good? Uh-huh. You ready to go to school? Just trying to shut it. It's because my foot's blocking it. Look. See? Mommy's foot won't let it shut. You ready to go to school? Yes. Hey guys, good morning. I woke up feeling just slightly like dirt this morning. My throat hurts again. I feel congested, but that's okay. And like I said, it's I'm not sure what autumn is. She thinks that it's so fun to come out of her room. Which is fine. I mean, she's really of the age now that I don't worry too much only about two things. Her trying to go down the stairs by herself, which she really doesn't because the gate's closed. And the gate will stay there. <laughs> because I really feel like, although Maddie was a little more clumsy than Autumn is at this age, but I really feel like Maddie was four before she could go down the stairs by herself unassisted. And I don't worry about her tumbling. So the gate will stay there for a while. And... I know Emmy, like Emmy had taken her downstairs, although she's getting pretty heavy for Emmy to take downstairs, so. I walk her. Oh, you did? She, she holds my hand and I, and, and she Like how me. I walk her? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She's, she's been carrying her downstairs and seeing her carry her is like hilarious because Emmy's not very big and Autumn's large for a two-year-old and so they just look so unproportioned to each other considering they are seven years apart. So anyway, we have to figure out something in the morning. Just make sure that the um, gate is closed for one and that she doesn't like go in and eat the whole tube of toothpaste or anything. But typically by the time she's awake, like she's done this for two days in a row now. By the time she's awake, Emmy's awake and Emmy knows to not let her do those things. But I told her, I said, just come if it's like before the alarm goes off because Emmy wakes up before our alarm goes off. Um, she, I was like, just come wake us up because that way Autumn typically is the last one to wake up out of everyone and she's been waking up early. I don't know if it's because of the excitement, like she knows, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get to go out <laughs> by myself with nobody awake or what, but she's been getting herself up pretty early. Like our alarm goes off at seven and on the rest is usually up before his alarm. My alarm goes off at seven. If I have to take them to school in the morning, I don't get up until seven. <laughs> and Maddie gets up at seven and Autumn will usually wake up about 7.20 and get her dressed really quick and go because we don't do anything you know, too much with her. We brush teeth, do hair, and then go. Emmy has a whole morning routine and she eats breakfast and stuff before she goes to school. So her alarm's set for 6.30. On the dress is usually up when she's up because he's a morning person. I am not. So anyway, we were getting an extra early start to school today because they woke me up about 6.45. So I was like, well, let's just get ready. Everyone get ready, let's go to school. So it's 7.27 and Emmy has to be there by eight, which is perfect timing. I never get out of the area this early ever because we usually are like 7.45, like I was last time trying to get them to school. And you guys didn't see me yesterday because I had a whole day at h and Block. I was there for almost 12 hours. It was a very, very long day. It's like winding up. We only have four days left of tax season. So yesterday was a super long day, but I was in this exact outfit, except today I'm wearing shorts. Yesterday I had on slacks, but I was wearing this shirt. I had come downstairs and Maddie was like, Mommy, were you wearing that yesterday? <laughs> like, I was, but I'm just going to drop you guys off at school and then I plan on going home and showering and getting ready because I work tonight at h and Block again, so. Yes, on to school. Y'all gonna have a good day? Yes. yes. And I actually... I bet I was gonna have a good day from the early rise. I actually mm -hmm. woke Mommy up, so it's me who woke Mommy up. Uh-huh, yeah. And I could hear Autumn. I could hear Emmy. Autumn. 
come here and Autumn's tramping along <laughs> the floor. floor and she runs when she's upstairs. I don't know if it's just excitement or what, so it's like and I heard the door open and I know it's Maddie. Maddie always is the one that opens the door in the morning. So I was like, <laughs> mommy's not ready for this. Okay guys, official hello. I just got out of the shower. It felt so good to wash my hair. I washed my hair when I got it cut the other day, but it, I don't know if, so I just ended up going to a great clip so it wasn't anything like super special and I feel like even when I told her, because I went in expecting, I think I told you guys, I went in expecting to wash my hair because I thought I was going to go to a place that includes hair washing in like when you go to Ulta or any uh, other higher end salon, visible changes, things like that, they automatically wash your hair. So I went in expecting to wash my hair so I didn't wash it, I just took a body shower. And when I asked her at Great Clips, I was like, oh, I need a shampoo. She's like, a shampoo? I'm like, yeah, you know, like, to wash your hair. She's like, you think you need one? I'm like, I know you won't be able to get a brush through my hair without it being washed and conditioned. And she was like, okay. She said, it's gonna be an extra $5. I was like, that's okay, no problem. So anyway, when she was washing it, I don't know if she wasn't used to washing hair or what, because when she was washing it, hold on, let me get in focus. There we go. So when she was washing it, she was like, um, your hair's really long. I'm like, yeah, I know, that's why I need a haircut. Um, it was a little, she was a little like, didn't seem like she knew what was going on too much, but it's okay, she actually did a wonderful job. I was super impressed, but it was funny, and she was just like, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know, haircut, okay. So, because of that, I was kind of like, well, you know, my hair, when I was blow drying it, I came home and blowed, blowed it, blew it dry, blew it out with the Revlon styler. It felt greasy, kind of like at the crown of my head, so I already knew it was going to get greasy because I just, did I just cut it yesterday? Yeah, no, I cut it the night before, the, the day before, Tuesday. When did I cut it? Yeah, I worked all day yesterday, Tuesday. So normally when my hair is blown out after one day of washing, I don't have to wash it until day four, sometimes five. Today was day three and it needed to be washed, something awful. So it felt really good to wash it because it felt kind of grimy, like I said, up in my crown area. So anyway, I washed it. Now I am printing out some stuff. I have my homework. I have to read this article and answer some something about it. I also have a quiz to do by Saturday. So I'm going to try and get a jump start on that. And then I work tonight. So I think I'm going to wear my hair curly today so that I can get an idea of what it looks like curly as well. Okay, I'm home from work, it was a busy night. Again, winding down on tax season. There are four days left of the tax season, four. I only have two days left of work. I don't work tomorrow, I don't work Saturday, I work Sunday and Monday. Anyway, that's not the point of this vlog. The point was to share with you my hair curly. So it's definitely still long and I was actually editing the vlog when I got my hair cut from Tuesday today and you can't even really tell like I definitely agree with Andres so you can't even really tell that I got my hair cut I can tell because you can see I showed you guys my hair when it was down and curly how like the bottom half the bottom like this much of it was completely straight had no curl to it whatsoever because it was damaged well I didn't know that at first you guys told me that um, and so now you can see my ends are curly again 
they're not damaged they feel healthy and if you look underneath my hair is so curly it's hard to tell because it's my hair is dark but look you can see my hair is so curly underneath from like all the new hair growth that's a perfect example right there you can't tell because my hair is so see how curly that is so like my hair is super super curly the longer it is the more weighed down and like wavy it looks um but yeah so when it's short it's like super super curly but yeah you can't even really tell that i got a haircut I was at work today and I was like, oh, does anybody notice I got a haircut? And everyone's like, no, not really. <laughs> How sad. Anyway, my throat has been on and off hurting all day, all day. And now when I got home from work, my hair, my hair, my throat is like throbbing almost. It hurts so bad. It's insane. It's just crazy. I don't know what the heck is going on. So anyway, it's about 1130. I'm going to try and go to bed. I have to wake up early again tomorrow on the dress has to be to work early. I gotta take the girls to school. And then I have a chiropractor appointment. And then I think I'm gonna meet my mom for lunch and run a couple errands. And then tomorrow night, my mom's coming over for dinner and I'm gonna do her nails. And I need to do my nails. I haven't had any color street on my nails in like a week. So I think I'm gonna figure out what we're going to do and I'll just do my manicure and her manicure at the same time. So anyway, I'm going to bed. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Nobody got out of their rooms today. Well, I mean, I don't know where Maddie is. Good morning. Oh, you wanna come turn it on? Okay. Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Yes, you be careful for your head right there, okay? Okay. Uh huh. Yep, turn it on. Turn that off. Turn the light on. Yay! Good job. High five. Woo! You ready to get dressed for school? A bit. Well, yeah, mommy wants to go to bed too. But we gotta go to school. What? <laughs> oh Lord. Hey guys, official good morning. It's 8.15, I just got home from dropping off all the girls at school. We actually had an on-time morning today. It was pretty good. I woke up a little late, but it's chilly outside. It's crazy. The weather is insane and then it's going to be hot. And you know what, also every time I come to open the blinds, I realize we need to get them fixed. We're missing four blinds, like four actual blinds, and the stick broke off of the thing. So it's like every time I come over here, I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to get this fixed. Anyway, I'm heating up leftovers because there's literally nothing for breakfast, nothing. We have no eggs, no milk, no bread, no like frozen stuff for breakfast, no taco stuff. I have waffles, that's about it, but I didn't want to eat nothing but carbs for breakfast, so I'm heating up leftovers. And I was just super tired this morning. I was tired yesterday, coming, like waking up. I didn't take a nap or anything during the day. And then I went to work last night, I came home. I just don't think I got enough sleep, so. Anyway, on the agenda today, is a chiropractor appointment so i'm here to have breakfast and then pretty much turn around and go to my chiropractor appointment and then i'm gonna meet my mom for lunch and run a few more errands she needs to get her eyebrows done mine just kind of need to be plucked so i don't know that i want to actually pay to get my eyebrows done so we'll kind of see and then i think we're going to grab lunch i pulled out some chicken it's in the sink right now thawing out um, she's coming over for dinner tonight and so that I could do her nails and my nails and so I think we're going to do salsa chicken. So I'm going to let this thaw a little bit and then I'll dump it in the crock pot and I'll show you my salsa chicken recipe if you're new here. Probably shouldn't even be vlogging right now but I'm taking a quiz. It's 20 questions. I'm on question 9. I have 46 more minutes to do it. Thank goodness it's open book. 
thank the heavens above <laughs> because I'm reading some of these questions and some of them are common sense like just from reading the chapters and doing the um what is it like the appraisal yesterday for the what am I trying to think of the article that we have to read um some of these are common sense but some of them I'm like uh-huh <laughs> so I have the book online um I have a digital copy of it and I'm just going in there and like typing in words keywords to go and look up the answer thank goodness these are all open book why couldn't it be like this in nursing school <laughs> yay i made a hundred i'm super excited which i mean i guess the only problem is is if you don't have the time to look through it's only 20 questions so you get about three minute well you get three minutes per question so if you don't utilize those three minutes correctly and you don't get your answers validated because some of them like i said i knew but if you don't get them validated by the book in time then that's the only thing that i could see a problem i had 19 minutes left so i feel like i did pretty good uh, but yay i made 100 very excited because the quizzes are 30 percent of your grade so thank goodness like i said they're open book now i'm about to wash my face and get ready i also uploaded a dollar tree haul so go check that out over on my main channel um, I edited that right before and while it was exporting and uploading, I was taking the quiz. So multitasking at its finest. I'm going to wash my face right now and um, get ready for the rest of the day. All right, I'm about to make the salsa chicken. I'm just getting out my ingredients here and I will show you guys how I make it. I think I have an entire video, a whole like cook with me vlog if I'm not mistaken. If I do, I'll link it down below so you always can refer back to it, but I'm just going to show you because it's pretty simple. Very few ingredients and it's very easy to put together and it's very forgiving crock pot meal and it only takes like three to four hours to cook on high. Not bad. Also, I just got off the phone with my mom and <laughs> she canceled lunch. She was like, I'm not going to be able to leave work after all. She was going to take a half day because she's out of town next week for work. And she was like, I'm not going to be able to take a half day after all. I was like, okay, I guess I got to figure out something to eat for myself. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay, I am using an Instant Pot slow cooker. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I feel like the last time I looked for one on Amazon, they didn't have it. If I can find it online, I'll link it down for, below for you. But I have about two pounds of chicken in here, just like three large chicken breasts and they're they're actually partially frozen so i'm going to cook this on high because it's already 12 30. i'm using an heb chunky salsa mild any let's see this is a 16 ounce and i usually use one entire jar of the 16 ounce for about two pounds of chicken so if you're going to double or triple this recipe to freeze it or anything like that i um, definitely use more salsa but i'm going to dump this entire thing of salsa in the whole thing and you can use any kind of salsa. I've used the on the border salsa. On the border salsa, I've used picante. Um, I mean, you really can use anything you want. If you want something with more spice, you can use that too. So just the entire jar, and then depending on how creamy you want it, you can use. Um, I've done it with anywhere from a third of a block of cheese of a uh, block of cream cheese to the entire thing. Right now, I'm going to use the entire. Thing. Let's see if I can get it off one-handed. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and I just dumped that right in. So, if you need this to be, like, cooked throughout the day and you're not going to have time to mix it, you can actually soften the cream cheese for, you know, like in the morning if you... Or at night you can soften it and then um, throw it in the crock pot the next day and kind of spread it around. I'll be here to mix it, so I'm literally just going to leave it like this. I'm going to pop the lid on. I have it on high for seven hours, just but I don't have seven hours. We're going to be eating dinner in about five, maybe five and a half. So I put it on high, and at the like three hour mark, I will come in here and see if the chicken is shreddable. If the chicken is shreddable, I'll start to shred it and mix up the cream cheese and the salsa, and I'll show you guys that. But like I said, I'll leave the vid link to the video down below if I can find it, so in case you ever want to refer back to it. Okay, I got a little nap in on the couch. I'm so tired. I'm trying to catch up on sleep, so this cooked a little bit longer 
than I wanted it to before I was going to share with you guys, but it's been a little over three hours. So you can see the, I mean, the cream cheese is nice and melty. So I just kind of, the chicken that we have has a lot of extra juices and stuff in it because it makes it plumper. Um, so at this point, it's been three hours on high. You see the chicken just falls right apart. So I'm just going to break it up. I'm not even going to shred it. You could definitely pull the chicken out and shred it. But because I'm going to leave it in here another hour and a half, two hours, I'm just going to kind of mix up chunks of that chicken and let it, that way the, op the chicken can open and all of the inside of the chicken can get the flavor as well. And don't worry about all the juice and everything because as you shred the chicken, it'll absorb all of that juice. So I'm just going to keep chopping and mixing. What? I'm about to show mom the Revlon one step. Let me see your nails, mom. Oh. We did a new color street. Mom's going out of town on Monday. Deli Delight. Okay. It's really pretty. Huh? Grandma no, it's grandma's that? nails. You look so good. Thank you. Everybody's in bed. My mom left hours ago. Actually, they've been in bed for hours. It's 11. I'm gonna go lay down right now. We have a fun day tomorrow. The neighborhood is having an Easter egg party and Disney on Ice is in town. And I really wanted to take the girls. We haven't been in a couple years. Autumn didn't go the last time we went because she was a baby. And so I kind of want to go, but I still have some more homework to do and it's due tomorrow night. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow.